Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. So, as promised, I'm going to do a craft room tour. So, so we're just going to go into the craft room. Now, um, this is at the bottom of the garden. My husband, Carl, has a little beer shed there as well, his little man cave. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments and I can show you that another day. Um, so we're going to start, we're going to go inside the craft room. I'll just have a little peep from the outside first. I think you can kind of like imagine it being sort of a Christmassy grotto, couldn't you? you've got Santa in his workshop inside or I can't wait to do like the Christmas crafts in there with the kids and bits and pieces like that so let's open the door and we'll have a look inside so I am going to take you all the way around as much as I can and Hope you enjoy it okay so as you can see in the middle we've got this table now this does extend out this is the one we used to have inside the house um but i changed it for the one that i decorated the white one so this extends out into eight people so we can make more craft room if we want to um so it's not as i would want it exactly it needs a lot more organizing but i promise to do one so um so i'll show you so i've got this big large desk here this was i used to have a gift shop and this desk was my counter at the shop so um we've got that and underneath um we've got at the back there um let's have a look we've got these little tubs and there's bits in there like staple guns um staples all sorts of various things this is my um decoupage sheets in here you've got your deco mash papers and there's a big tub here with the deco patch papers and I've collected these over time. So there's various different designs in here. And I just keep these in this tub. Then in here I've got organza bags, all different sizes and colours. Then some small chalkboards. Again, these are some things that were left from the shop. In here... I have some wooden, it's hard to get in there, but some wooden sort of MDF items, boxes, tubs, that sort of thing that are all ready to do up. Then if you move down, I've got some candle making kit in there and I will do a candle making video at some point. Got all sorts of different soy wax um, and that sort of thing, different fragrances. So I'll show you those um, another time. In this tub here, I've got um, things that people have made me from YouTube and sent me. I've got um, some red paint. That's what I use for some of the Christmas crafts. There's some offcuts of the table cover there. Then we've got um, a craft box. This was just £4 from the works and they're really, really handy. Okay, then this side, we've got the old cash register from the shop. And then I've got these baskets, there's oddments of ribbons in here. They're not organised at all. Um, there's all sorts of various ribbons and bits in there. I have got some more, but that's just um, some of the first stuff I had. There's some curling ribbon there. In here we've got a few cello bags. All sorts of different sizes get in here with one hand what have I got in the bottom right so in the bottom there's some stickers that I put on some products um, and some Christmas items as well which are down there then in this little section I've got some curling bows there um, this is where I store my rolls of things so brown paper sparkly paper um, my wrap my cello wrap then I've got sandpaper that's the staple and what's it there then if I just come down this way this is a box of um, crystals that I used to sell in the shop so all sorts of different kind of tumble stones and things in that tub and because it looks a bit messy I always put this stuff underneath this counter and just pull this over the top down this little section here I have some of these Ikea frames 
I've had those for some time. I've got some projects that I'd like to do and show you with those, but it's just getting the time. I've got a little fire here, so it's not switched on, but that's quite nice in the winter. It throws out a nice bit of heat and it's quite cosy too. And that's my laminator, which I've got there. I've got a little fire extinguisher there too. Okay, now we'll go on top of the desk here. So we'll just have a look and see. Sorry about the shadow there. But I've got this tub with some bits of string in, all sorts of different colours. The bird cage there. I decorated these quite some time ago. There's a, a cute little pot. Can't even remember what's in that. Oh, it's some citronella candles. And I've got a little pot here with some gems and beads and all sorts of sparkly things that us magpies love. So if the, any projects need anything sparkly, I tend to look in here. There's lots of different bits and bobs in there. Then we've got my glue sticks. I'll just put those on the tray. I don't know if you remember the video of that tray. Then we've got some of these stacking boxes. These came from the works and Jane made me these, Jane Davies. Moving along, I've had this a little while. It's just um, four drawers here. There's some erasers in there, sponges, little hearts. There's a little flower that I made into a hair clip. Got some more of these tubs. I think there's cards in that one. Not sure what's in these. That's like paper clips, paper fasteners, that sort of thing. And then in here, let's just take these down. Have all these sorts of goodies. I was sent a few of these actually. And a few items in there too. That's when I'm altering things. And then along here, if we just move along a bit more, got some kitchen roll cellar tape. In here we've got some pins, stick pins. I'm gonna make some little pins with those. It's just getting round to it. There's some heart ones as well. Can't remember what these are. Oh, there's some larger ones. So I'm actually in the process of putting all my um, ribbon and lace and things on, on holders, so I'm going to use those for that. This little holder I've had some time. I'll just put all my little sticky notes, a bit of sticky rollers, writing sets, those sorts of things in there. And then on the top row I've got my flowers. When I'm out and about, I sort of, if I see some flowers that are a good price, I pick them up. These are the Wild Orchid Craft flowers. In there. And in this one. And then in here I've got my lace and beads and pearls. These are generally the ones on, on a string that I keep in there. one. Oh, some more little flowers and we've got some leaves but they tend to be a bit smaller these flowers. Just in that one. And then we've got washi in there and a little believe sign. They're the beads that came from Poundland. Got some ribbon there. Then these little tubs here, got the straws, scissors, there's a few pens in there, pencils at the back, got lots of paint brushes, all sorts of different paint brushes, um, some nail files in there, I'm doing my decoupage, foam brushes. Then in these case sort of boxes, let's have a look. There's just a few pencils in there. They were a project that I was going to do. Here's some bags. These again, 
for little project ideas. All sorts of different coloured bags there. And in this one, these are my cello bags. So when I'm out and about, I tend to pick them up if they're a good price. These are from the works, just to pound those. So there's some Christmas ones in the bottom there as well. And some Easter. I have got some more tiny cello bags that you'll see in a minute. And this one, I don't think there's much in this one. These are my Digital Collage Club prints that I printed off that I haven't um, I haven't used yet. Little tiny tags. Okay, so that's that part there. And moving round, I'm going to look over in this corner here. So you can see I've got all my shelves. So I've actually put the tripod up. So I can show you a bit easier. So I'm just going to balance it down now. So in this corner, a little bit of a pop everything in the corner kind of thing. Um, it is organised mess. So I do know what's here. I've got that big Santa there that um, that can be painted. But I don't know if I need him. I might sell him. I'm not 100% certain yet. Um, so there he is. Um, there's some Christmas things in here like the Christmas elves, Christmas Eve boxes and things that um, I'll be selling again this year. And I've just got things like these paper paper bags, craft bags, um, paper envelopes. There's a lot of packaging stuff in this corner. Tissue paper, bubble wrap. This tub, this is quite a handy tip actually. I save things like this that have had bits of fruit in and I use those for paint. So any little tubs or anything like that, I tend to save them and wash them and then pop them down in the craft room because if you're using a lot of paint and you don't want to keep washing trays out and you need various different things I save those to reuse them and even things like paper plates they're good to tip to tip paint on as well I've got lots of tissue paper in different colours down there um, again it's sort of boxes packaging that sort of thing in that little corner then if we just come back a bit here and I'm just going to pull the tripod down just so you can see um, I've got things like my paper trimmer um, and all sorts of paper cutters and scorers down there and then here I'm just going to move around a little bit I've got these this storage unit now this came from Ikea and so did the boxes and I'm just going to bring it a bit closer so you can see now, inside, they're full with Decker Patch items. Now, I've had these things in here for quite some time, so I might be doing a, a sort of a, a clear out of some of the items. So if I do, I will pop them on the channel to see who's um, who's interested in them, because I don't think I'll get around to using most of this. But um, I've had them for quite some time. Um, I mean, it's things like... Sorry about the whistling. It's things like these little decker patch birds here with the hearts hanging off. Um, got things like mushrooms, keys, which were great for, for Santa. There's a stalk there. There's a little baby. Got some angel wings. Snowman. Some hearts. So lots of these blanks I've been collecting over a number of years. Tubs like this. Little angel. That's a bit battered on that side. So there's all sorts of different plaques. So they were actually a bit more organised, a bit more sorted, but um, I changed them round because I needed an extra one. And again in here... We've got a similar sort of thing. Little tea light holders. Um, things like welcome sign. Love sign there. It's um, ideal for a family tree. Just pop those up there a sec. 
little angels. They'd be great for the kids to decorate for the Christmas tree. Tiny birdhouse. Eggs. Got a desk tidy there. So as you can see, there's all sorts of stuff and bits and bobs in here. And generally the kids just come in and have a look and see and have a go at things. There's some little wooden knobs there to decorate. I was going to decoupage those for some drawers. So that's all that in there. So it's a good mixture of stuff. And then I'm just going to move this down just to show you in the bottom here. Guess what's in this drawer? <laughs> Same sort of thing. You've got to decorate your own fairy door. There's trays, cart trays. We've got some baskets there, which I used a couple of years ago at Easter. More fairy doors, plaques, little angel. Yeah. There's some stars, decor patch stars. Got things like moustache. Um, there's tiara and all sorts of things in there. So that's those ones. And then in this box here, um, I've got things that I'm going to be sending out in friend mail, that sort of thing, and giveaways. So I'll put a little different bits and pieces in that one for that. Just pop that away. And then if I lift the camera up slightly for you, you'll see this section. And here we've got some napkins. So I've got all my napkins organised into different pockets with the different type of napkins just to make them easier to get to and then they're just in this box here. Here's my cling film because that's what I use for decoupage. What have we got down the side here? So here we've got some stamp die storage pockets and then there's some clear storage pockets as well and these are for my folder which I bought out of my birthday money. I don't know if any of you remember so I've not got very many dies but um, I've just got those in here and I put um, I've got a few more pockets as well so I can put some more in there's those and then in this tub over here got Few more different um, dies here. And I use these with them um, with this machine. Got all your cutting mats and pads there. I haven't used my die machine for a while. That's a well used one. Got the embossing folders Up there. Few more dies. A little embossing folder in there. So I put, I will put some of these dies in the um, in the the little folder as well. So that's those. Okay, so I've moved the camera up to the next shelf here, and these are my tubs that I put embellishments and those sorts of things in. Um, so some of these items I've been sent, I haven't um, bought all of this. Um, a lot of this is sort of friend mail. So I've got things like cupcakes, little butterfly embellishments, um, resin flowers. I mean, what I can do is I can pull these down and show you them. Okay, so I'm going to show you these tubs now. Um, I've got a few bits in here, so we'll just have a quick look through.
the tubs back and we'll carry on so in this basket here i've got some ribbon now this is kind of work in progress because lots of the ribbon is is bundled up um all in little bundles there and what i'm going to do is i'm recarding it i'm making some little holders that i'm going to laminate and i'm going to recard all that but it's just taking time so that's just whenever i'm bored i just kind of like do a few bits so it's just a little basket there and these here are some of the cards that i've done with some of the lace and ribbon on so i've just started to to do them and i have got some more in a drawer over the other side which um which i'll show you but i'm going to do those do it all the lace and and trims and ribbons that i've got is my plan and display them really nicely on the side so on the top of this shelf here, we've got sort of little knickknacks, bits and bits and bobs, bits that the kids have made, um, something Jane made, some jars, that sort of thing on that top shelf. Also got some um, extra bits and pieces that people have made around the craft room. Um, in this section here, I've got some lace. These are some of my favourite trims. I've got a little bit more of these than, than usual. So I've got those here on the side and then in these boxes I've got things for planners um, so I've got stickers in there and then if I just lift that up there's more stickers and bits and pieces in that one and then this one is sort of project life cards and things like that and then we've got Ebony's there and my diary what not there there's some bunting then if we move down i've got a folder here which i put my rice paper in a little storage unit that isn't really that organized in here it's got like sticky pads blue tack magnets in there but these are a little bit jumbled up some tape and beads some just little bows and things like that in there and then this storage unit here i think i bought this from the range i think um quite some time ago got some stamps in here for paper crafting there's a few more stamps in there hole punch tag stamp in that one I am going to do more paper crafts as well there's a few different bits of ribbon I've had that ribbon quite a while in there as well and then these are my small cello bags I use these at Christmas time I think they're really sweet for putting little treats in so when you sort of get these from wherever you get them from they do often send you a lot but you can just save them just save them for the following year because they do come handy and there's my little bin which gets filled up very often right so that was that section there and then we're just going to move on to this section here next to it I've got this big unit so at the very top there there's some things that um, have been made for me and also some bits that the kids have made and then we have some different tubs with all sorts of um, flat back things in there i'm just going to pull these tubs down and just show you what i've got in these now right so here are the tubs and a lot of these items i've had for a long long time as well um, i'll just show you these i bought these from b&m i think last year the little suction hooks um they were just 10p so i'll use those at christmas time but i'm just going to show you now the items that i've got in these tubs
I've just popped those tubs back and I'll move down and show you the rest. Um, on this side we've got um, got a Christmas paper pack that was sent to me. We've got some little cards. Um, I've got some doilies there. Um, we have got um, an envelope. That's how you make envelopes. Um, just little various bits I put down there. There's some more lace that, um, that I'm going to put on those little holders. Got some more bits of material here. I might just keep those like that. There's some fabric here. In here I've got some more fabric. I've got some felt. Um, I've got some like fabric with sticky back um, bits on there. There's also some Christmas papers um, that I've kept in the corner. And then I've got some big paper packs here, the paper pads. So I keep these all on this shelf. So I've got those there. Some laminating pouches, coloured paper packs. These little scraps at the bottom, sometimes I use um, underneath projects. Then moving down, we've got some plain cards here. We've got some envelopes. Um, there's some bags, little paper treat bags um, more bits of card that you can make I've got some cork there and then I've got these tubs and in these tubs I've got bits of lace and trim um, I, I've, again this has been all bought from you know many years it's not been sort of most of it hasn't been bought recently and um, things like this I kind of pick up from like eBay or AliExpress or somewhere like that and it is really cheap it takes a little while to come but it's really cheap um, some little doilies so there's loads of bits and pieces in there bits of trim but I will package all of these up and I'm going to have um, my plan is to have like a loads of racking along that back wall with it all in and then in here again We've just got loads of the same. But sometimes I think it's nice to have a rummage through. Um, so there's, again, more bits at the back there. Which is quite pretty. That red's quite nice. So it's nice there. And then in here I have some paper. Um, bits and pieces that I've cut and printed off in that section then moving down i have some a4 card and here we've got some paper packs these are the longer ones and then we've got the smaller size here i've got all those and a lot of these were picked up cheaply from poundland or the range or sent as presents um the, you know they think these from the back here came from pound world plus or something like that so there's quite a few there these are my little pocket things here little poly pocket things these numbers and letters they came from the works i've got a tub here a card in there's some yellow card some black card then we've got a few books down the bottom some gems in there buttons these are feeders for the some slime which I'm going to do at some point some more buttons down there homemade tags homemade bows this is where I keep the glitter and my tape down this bottom section there's a tub there with some of Phoebe's Bits and pieces, some felt pom poms, and here we've got lots of little gemstones. Got some pegs there, some more tape for my ATG gun, which is this, which is like um, a tape, a tape runner to, to stick. There's some frog tape, and then I've got sort of some folders and bits of paperwork down there okay along this section here we have some paint um, 
various different chalk paints and some of the wax as well to go over the top and then moving on I'm just gonna stand up we have this stand here and this I hold all of my paint and glue and sealers and that sort of thing on that so just fits quite nicely so I've got some of these small acrylic paint little tubs here got some glitter and some embossing powder moving down we've got some chalky paint in various different colours there what have we got there tea dye some Annie Sloan paint in the Paris grey got some more items from deco art there the metallic luster there's also some metallic paints there golds and rose golds and then moving down I've got my glue and my Mod Podge section so we've got decoupage glue um, so we've got all sorts Mod Podge and um, the Americana do loads of different types of glue that's dishwasher safe so is that one I've got that one there there's so much glue and sealers that you can buy there's a glossy varnish the Gorilla Glue napkin glue outdoor glue fabric glue some more napkin glue that's triple thick that's a brush on gloss glaze it's glossy glue there that's the first deck of patch glue that i started to use that green one and i just really generally use mod podge now that's the matte one which i use the most that's a gloss one there's weathered wood crackle medium and then if we just go down we have some We've got some gesso there. There's some PVA glue that I thought would work for um, slime, but it didn't. Things like tacky glue, glossy accents, fabric tack, gem tack, more tacky glue. Got some acrylic paint there. Some artists' acrylic paint. Just some different paint things at the back. In there, just got some other types of glue some e6000 there that's for jewelry and bead i haven't tried that yet though um so yeah that's that little stand which gets used quite often the items on here i think they look quite cool displayed on there right now we're going to move round to this section and this is where i have my tv cds little cd player so i do play a lot of like obviously not yet but I play like films and I've got some Christmas films. I love coming down here at Christmas time. Um, at the top, we've got some books and things that I've, that I've made, bits that I've made on the channel. Um, and I kind of made this sort of like the little electrical section. And then there's a unit that I decorated on the channel. And inside, I've got some things that I've made and the kids have made. And then around here... I put bits and pieces that are work in progress, so things that I'm halfway through are going to work on next. So I've got these tubs that I've painted. These are all the um, holders ready for the lace. So this is just an ongoing project. So I just cut those out when I fancy doing something relaxing. I've got the elephants that we bought on um, the video from the Hoarders Emporium. That I'm going to decorate. These little egg cups I'm going to decorate. So these projects will be coming up when I've got time then we've got this unit here we've got a couple of units there's a basket miss missing which I've got in the house um, things like glue guns there's some carrier bags in my bin there's some pencils in there for um, work that's Phoebe's drawer with just a few little knick-knacky bits and stuff in there there we've got some stamps um, which I am going to set out properly in the um, in the holder over there so we've just got various I don't have lots of stamps but um, I would like to do more card making and I will be doing more craft things as well um, I absolutely love doing Christmas crafts and Christmas ideas so um, I'll be getting into that a little bit more if I can so it's just finding the time but I find it really relaxing sitting doing it anyway. So, and then in there we've got sort of all sorts of coloured 
raffia type string, the different rolls. That's in there, that's actually magnetic strip. And then you've got the natural kind of colour as well. This again is a project that I'm going to do. It is one of the pin boards, the cork boards. So that's in the to do corner. I'm not sure how tidy these are. There's some bits in there for Phoebe. There's some spare furniture knobs there for projects that I'm doing. And I've got some curling ribbon. And in here I have some lace. I'll show you those actually in a second. And then I've got my aprons in there. Okay, so in this tub, these are again um, items that I'm working on. But just so you can see that this is how I am displaying them. And I suppose this is the shop owner in me when I own the shop that's coming out here. I just like things that are displayed well. So I'll be looking for like shelves and baskets. But I'm going to pick them all up cheap or second hand. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on them um, on displaying them at all but I will make it look nice and I think you can um, it's quite nice when you do stuff and it doesn't cost a lot of money but it looks like it has if you know what I mean you know it's um you can probably hear Phoebe playing in the background she's playing on the little desk that we've got down here and it's quite nice that she can come down here and you know play with her toys as well so there's the sort of things in there right this little section here we've um, made sort of as Phoebe's little corner I don't know if you can see that it's getting dark out there now it's really dark outside we've been in filming for a little while so um, we'd revamped Phoebe's kitchen this was um I just saw an old white kitchen that she's had for years and we just painted it put some um cover at the back there like a marble cover and she's sitting playing with her feet in that box quite strangely is that comfy <laughs> okay and then uh, this is the table that we just painted that cost five pounds and she's just sitting playing with those which is kind of cute and there's the vase that i upcycled as well and this um, set of drawers came in from in the house, so I've still got to sort this out, but this has just um, my cards and things like that inside, so I just need to just sort that out. And that is around about it, so I hope you've enjoyed having a look around. I've tried to get as much in as I can, so um, as I say, I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed looking around. I am still working on quite a large um, dresser, Welsh dresser, um, which I'll pop on the um, the channel soon. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.